skull, uh, cranium, cranium in uh, Latin language, and uh, two part of the cranium. It's a narrow cranium and visceral cranium. First of all, uh, very good if you uh, remember a very important moment. It's a uh, in a narrow cranium and visceral cranium uh, present pair and unpair bones. First of all, uh, fr frontal bone, it's unpair bone, but really it's a bone uh, when uh, in a uh, variant, it's untypical, but may present fissure in a skull, in a frontal bone, and uh, some variant, it's a, a pair bone, uh, not only in a uh, fetal period. Next, uh, Unpeer bone, it's a sphenoid bone, uh, occipital and edmoid bone. And pear bone of the narrow cranium, it's a parietal bone and temporal bone. Uh, visceral cranium, unpeer bone, warmer and uh, mandible. Uh, pear bone, nasal, lacrimal, zygomatic, palatine, maxilla, conchonasalis inferior. And uh, Neurocranium. Uh, first of all, very good if you will uh, remembering some information about number. Numbers of the, uh, for example, uh, numbers of the bone in a neurocranium. How much? What is your opinion? How much bones in a neurocranium? Eight. Eight, great, uh, because four ampere and uh, two pair together, it's at number eight, great. And how many bones in a uh, visceral cranium? Helen? Fourteen. Fourteen, great. And totally, uh, if you looked in a cranium, um, present 22 bones. But uh, very often uh, used number 23 and 29. What differences between this is number? Guys? Maybe they count some bones that haven't been fused together. Yes, it's one variant. Hewitt bone associated with cranium. It will be 23. And uh, if 29 in a um, temporal bone present plus uh, six uh, of sickles, uh, it's a, a small uh, bony. Uh, it's the same. This is bones uh, in a newborn child in adult. One size in a, during all life. Please remember, if 23 Yes, 23 or uh, 29, uh, it's variant uh, numbering of the uh, skull. Okay, uh, great. Uh, frontal bone, frontal, bo frontal bone, uh, some variant for remembering, it's a three parts, three, uh, some parts, it's uh, three, but four, yeah? Uh, first of all, it's a squama, uh, nasal part and orbital part, but you understand orbital part, uh, it's a uh, pair, uh, right and left. Next, uh, <clears throat> in a squama, present external surface, uh, frontal uh, tuber, yes, here, uh, external surface, next, uh, glabella, here, yes, glabella, it's uh, part uh, near uh, nose. And uh, next, uh, some variant, uh, a special uh, structure for some other um, connecting to other bones. For, for example, <clears throat> uh, nasal part with nasal margin and spine and uh, orbital parts uh, with different surface. First of all, uh, orbital uh, surface connecting with orbita, 
parts of the talus connecting this uh, orbita and uh, really a very uh, often uh, absent uh, same uh, name. For example, orbital surface, orbital parts uh, of the uh, frontal bone. Uh, but really it uh, may present too. Next, uh, uh, sphenoid margin and uh, frontal sinus. Frontal sinus, it's a structure in the internal surface, uh, in internal part of the uh, frontal bone uh, too. And uh, sphenoid bone, it's a uh, next uh, anterior bone in the skull, uh, in the uh, neurocranium, yes. And uh, body, uh, um, uh, small ring, yes, and ala minor, and uh, ala minor uh, present in this is bone. Ala minor, uh, ala minor, and body. Uh, and uh, this is bone have uh, very interesting uh, structure. It's a turcicella, turcicella. Uh, in the uh, body of uh, sphenoid bone, and uh, in this is turtic cell, a present a very important uh, glands. What is the gland located in a turtic cell? Pituitary gland. Pituitary gland, great. And uh, as a name, this is gland, it's a master of glands. Uh, it's a really very important glands in our body. And you, uh, if you will, uh, Remember this moment, it's very good. And uh, some structure in, uh, uh, for example, Alemeyer, it's you can look at different surfaces, uh, cerebralis, orbitalis, uh, maxillaris, temporalis, uh, infratemporalis, uh, temporal, uh, and uh, some opening, uh, rotundum, ovale, and spinosum opening in this is bone uh, present too. Next, um, parietal bone. Parietal bone, uh, it's a very interesting and very important bone because uh, when you remember uh, in this is bone present uh, only two surfaces, uh, cerebral and external. Next, uh, it's uh, four margin and four angle. Four angle, uh, for example, <coughs> It's uh, 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 frontal, occipital, uh, mastoid, and uh, sphenoid. If you remember, this is two angle where you very uh, simple understand what is uh, um, fronticle uh, present in a skull. And uh, for margin, frontal margin connecting with frontal bone, here, yes. Uh, next, uh, uh, sagittal margin to uh, right and left, uh, a parietal bone connecting in a, a sagittal uh, uh, sutura, yes, uh, suture. And uh, in this is uh, line, it's a, a sagittal uh, section may present, for example. Occipital connecting with occipital bone uh, and uh, margin, uh, occipital margin were present. And uh, last is a, a margin squamose, squamose margin connecting to the uh, uh, squama uh, uh, of the uh, temporal bone. And uh, in parietal bone, uh, you can look to some variant. It's a two and four structure. Margin four, angles uh, four, and uh, for example, present uh, some line, uh, some lines uh, in external surface and in internal. Uh, this is structure. It's a uh, arterioles uh, sulcus. Salcus, yes. And uh, next, uh, it's uh, occipital bone. Occipital bone in the skull uh, have main uh, or uh, basilar uh, 
path uh, with two basilar path, two lateral path, and squamous. Yes, um, very interesting bone, uh, big uh, portion structure. For example, linear uh, superior and inferior nohal uh, linea. It's uh, present because big portion muscle of the uh, spine and neck connecting to this is bone, and uh, we have some. <clears throat> movie uh, in this is uh, in our uh, head uh, with neck because uh, this is muscle connecting to this is bone for example too and uh, in a squama present some uh, protuberancia externa and protuberancia interna too and uh, in the internal uh, surface or cerebral sur surfaces present fossa cerebralis uh, connecting with uh, brain or uh, cerebral, yes? And uh, here will be uh, connecting with cerebellum. Um, next, uh, bones uh, in the neurocranium, it's a temporal and tendmoid bone. Temporal bone, first of all, you can speak about it's a very hard bone because uh, some present big portion of the structure. But first of all, very good if you uh, remember in a temporal bone present three parts, three processes, and three surfaces in a uh, pars petrol spot. For example, three parts: uh, pars uh, petrosa, pars squamosa, and pars tympanic. Tympanic part, uh, squamous part, and uh, petrous part. Uh, next, it's a three uh, process. Three process, zygomatic process, uh, mastoid, mastoid process, and uh, steloid process in this is bone present too. Next, uh, three surfaces in the petrous part, or as a name, it's a uh, pyramid. Yes, pyramida. <coughs> and uh, it's a, a anterior, posterior, and inferior surface in this is part. And as a structure uh, will be located in a different part. It's uh, if you uh, understand same process, uh, some parts uh, in the uh, this is bone, you were a simple understand. Uh, where present, for example, fissura or sulcus, uh, uh, squamo, uh, tympanic, and other structure. Uh, in a clinic, very important to understand in a process, mastoidus present some cellular. It's the same with uh, big uh, portion uh, cavities uh, in this is, uh, pr process. And uh, in a uh, in clinic, yeah, when present, for example, problem with uh, internal structure of temporal bone, and you understand here present, uh, for example, eminencia arcuata, and when we cut this eminencia, we uh, uh, will be in a part of the uh, tem temporal uh, bone, it's a, a tympanic cavity with six part uh, surface. Uh, six walls, uh, for example, and in this is part will be present uh, uh, acoustic uh, ossicle. See, uh, three uh, in the right uh, temporal bone, three in the left. Next, uh, <coughs> it's a uh, etmoid bone, etmoid bone uh, in uh, skull. Uh, one variant for remembering different bones. It's uh, 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 some plasticine model. You can um, uh, handmade. This is uh, a variant if you uh, give uh, some plasticine and create some uh, structure. Uh, no, first of all, uh, uh, that uh, this uh, atmoid bone have uh, some structure uh, with uh, cellular and uh, other variant in uh, 
basic part of the uh, etmoid bone it's uh, will present of the uh, etmoid sinus uh, and how many sinus in a skull maybe you know three no four uh first of all it's a, a frontal sinus in the frontal bone here next sphenoid sinus it's a, in the body of the sphenoid bone present sinus too uh, in the etmoid and in the maxilla. Uh, in the maxilla too, uh, will present uh, in the body cavity. Uh, in the maxilla, it's a uh, have name of the uh, gymor uh, sinus, uh, maxillary sinus. Uh, same with the, uh, it's a uh, opening uh, famous anatomist gymor. And uh, gymoritis, inflammation of the uh, sinus of the maxilla. And first of all, if uh, uh, breathing person uh, in this is, uh, sinus uh, present uh, some resonator function. Next variant, it's uh, uh, not very uh, big weight of the skull. Yes. Uh, if we looked in uh, some bones, we uh, thinking about maybe this is bone very uh, big and very uh, uh, big portion uh, of the, uh, for example, uh, bony tissue. But it's uh, uh, not true because in a, this is cavity and uh, light version. Other variant, it's uh, um, when present uh, cold. Uh, air in the street in this is cavity uh, present uh, hot or uh, comfortable uh, air and uh, it's very important too and a uh, big person uh, information about sinus it will uh, will be in a uh, respiratory system when you uh, starting and we replace this information too so uh, and in a etmoid bone, uh, present uh, lamina cribrosa, uh, perpendicular uh, lamin, and uh, etmoid uh, labyrinths. Uh, it's uh, in the uh, main part. Uh, lamina cribrosa, it's a special uh, lamin with uh, very important opening. This is opening for uh, first uh, pair of the cranial nerves. It's a uh, olfactory nerves moving with uh, cavity of the skull to the uh, nasal cavity. Next, uh, maxilla. Maxilla and mandibula. It's uh, two bones of uh, this sericranium and uh, have um, a very important moment it's a, in a, or, uh, maxilla and mandible present alveolar dentalis first of all alveolar dentalis uh, it's a uh, place for uh, teeth and uh, it's uh, in adult uh, eight uh, structure in a maxilla right and left a totally 16 yes and in a mandible it's alveolar dentalis uh, 16 and uh, in a up and uh, uh, up and uh, down uh, line of the uh, teeth uh, totally it's uh, uh, 32 teeth uh, in oral cavity but uh, in a mandible, uh, maxil, uh, present body uh, with sinus, uh, gymer sinus, uh, you understand, yes? And uh, with, uh, in a body present uh, some surfaces and uh, some processes, yeah? Uh, frontal process connecting to the frontal bone. Uh, uh, zygomatic process connecting with zygomatic bone uh, with, uh, for example, uh, maxillary process of the uh, zygomatic bone, yeah? Uh, next, 
alveolar process uh, with alveolar dentalis, it's a, a special place for teeth. And uh, I have a question for you. Uh, when we can look first uh, tooth in the oral cavity in a child? Guys? Maybe around half a year old. Uh, half year, yes, six uh, months. It's the first uh, teeth. And when, how many uh, uh, child teeth or milk teeth uh, present in the oral cavity? How many? In a two years old child. 20. Milk or uh, child teeth, 20. Uh, in a, uh, 24 months and or two years, all this is uh, this will present in the uh, oral cavity. Yes. Next, uh, when starting moving uh, real uh, bone or uh, bo uh, bone and uh, teeth, uh, when? About six years old. Six years old, six, seven uh, uh, years old. Uh, very good. It's very same with uh, traditional of Ukraine uh, when uh, uh, looking in the oral cavity and uh, understand uh, uh, may uh, change in milk uh, teas and adult uh, teas. Uh, for example, Дитина пішла в школу, зуби почали випадати, да? Окей. And uh, in a, uh, 25 or more uh, years uh, may move in a last. It's a uh, зуб мудрості, yes? Uh, last uh, molar in uh, oral cavity. Окей. Okay. Uh, and uh, in Maxilla, present not only process, uh, present some surfaces, uh, surfaces of facies, yeah? Orbital sur surfaces in the orbita, uh, connecting with orbita, uh, anterior surface uh, connecting with the face, uh, nasal surface in a nasal cavity, temporal surface in a temporal fossa and other. And uh, it's uh, bones uh, connecting when present uh, touch with teeth. It's uh, really connecting this uh, mandible. Mandible with uh, bon uh, body uh, with uh, some uh, structure in a body in uh, angle uh, body of mandible protuberantia mentalis, uh, and uh, very important, it's an opening. And in this opening, uh, it's a last uh, part of the canal in the internal structure of the mandible, present mandibular canal uh, starting here near lingula, and uh, in, uh, in the finish opening in the uh, foramen, mental foramen, it's a, a, a special uh, uh, canal for mandibular nerve, and in the finish, it's a mental nerve will uh, can uh, move in, in this is open. Next, uh, it's uh, connecting near uh, mandible. Uh, you remember it's a, a hyoid bone. In a total revised hyoid bone, we can look uh two hyoid bone yes hyoid bone it's a one bone uh, not connected with skull but it's uh here yeah uh, but it's bones uh unpair bone uh located uh, near mandible but not connected with old skeleton uh, and uh, it's very important uh bone because to this is bone connecting the muscle of neck big portion muscle the muscles of the neck 
Okay, and uh, I replay uh, information about bones with sinus. Frontal bone, uh, frontal sinus. Uh, etmoid bone, etmoid sinus. Sphenoid bone, sphenoid sinus. And maxillary sinus in this uh, maxilla. It's uh, same with <coughs> variant when present uh, gymor sinus and uh, in the anterior view uh, frontal sinus etmoid uh, sphenoid and uh, maxillary sinus if we looked in this is picture we can uh, understand all this is structure uh, may be unpair but but uh, really in a sphenoid sinus very often it's a one big cavity present and uh, it's very important too. Okay, uh, next it's a variant for allocation uh, bones. Uh, it's a sphenoid bone here in the skull, yes, uh, in a different view. Uh, etmoid bone in the skull location in the internal structure and all this is bond we, we can look when we looked uh, in the uh, anterior norm in a uh, skull man, mandible maxil uh, and uh, next bone uh, of the visceral it's uh, Palatin bone, concha nasalis inferior, and vomer. Uh, it's uh, three bones, uh, biggest uh, structure present in palatin bone. In a palatin uh, bone or post palatinum uh, present um, horizontal plate uh, and perpendicular plate. And uh, some Process yes, uh, pyramidal, orbital, and uh, sphenoidal, uh, sphenoid process. Next, uh, in a different, this is uh, lamin uh, present so, uh, surfaces, surfaces, uh, palatine, nasal, uh, in a horizontal uh, plate, uh, and next, uh, it's uh, bone in a vomer, vomer. Uh, Three structure: ala vomeris, crista con, uh, hoanalis, uh, vomeris, and uh, sulcus vomeris. What does it mean, hoana? Oh, does it no. Hoana. What does it mean? It's a opening in the ending of the nasal cavity, and hoana. It's a very important uh, structure. It's a line between nasal cavity and nasal pharynx, for example. Okay, and concha nasalis inferior. Uh, concha nasalis inferior uh, here located. You can look this. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's bones uh, in the nasal cavity and uh, delayed some... Uh, region of the nasal cavity too. Uh, visceral cranium, zygomatic, lacrimalis, uh, lacrimal and nasal bone. Uh, zygomatic bone, uh, zygomatic bone with three surfaces, three uh, process and three opening. Uh, lateral surface, temporal surface, and uh, orbital surface. You understand orbital uh, connected with orbita, yes. Uh, lateral surface when connecting with uh, bones of the uh, faces uh, or facial, facial bone bones. Uh, and uh, temporal uh, surfaces, it's present in a temporal uh, surface of the uh, temporal fossa and uh, three processes frontal, uh, maxillary, and temporal uh, process. 
and three opening, zygomatic of facial, zygomatic orbital, and zygomatic temporal. Uh, I replayed three uh, processes, three surfaces, and three uh, uh, opening of foramen. And uh, lacrimal bone and nasal bone, it's a structure, it's a bone uh, near orbita, yes. Orbita, it's a very interesting structure. Orbita, uh, it's structure with four walls, for example, up uh, or superior, inferior, uh, medial, and lateral. And uh, you can look nasal bone uh, in uh, anterior uh, facial uh, norm of the skull. Next, uh, what is it here? What is the process, please? It's a part of maxilla. But what is the process in the maxilla, yes? Here, if it's a frontal bone, it's very uh, simple. Frontal process. Frontal, frontal process. Next, uh, near frontal process located bones of the uh, medial surface of the orbita. What is the bone? Maybe at point. No, no, no. At point here. Uh -huh. Uh, orbital surface at my bone here. Here it's a lacrimal bone. Lacrimal bone, um, in English, lacrima, uh, what does it mean? Tears. 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 Yeah, slows in English. Uh, it's uh, why uh, this is bones uh, not connecting with uh, a special glands for producing lacrima or tears uh, located near what is it? Uh, fossa lacrimal uh, of uh, atmoid, uh, sorry, of uh, frontal bone. Uh, here will present uh, a lacrimal gland. Uh, lacrima or tears producing all time uh, and moving uh, up to down and with uh, lateral angle to medial angle of uh, orbita or uh, anterior uh, surface or uh, eyes. And next, uh, here present canal, uh, it's a uh, nasolacrimal canal connecting uh, orbita with nasal cavity, please remember. And okay, uh, here, what is it, uh, replay? Th this one, orbital surface of the etmoid bone, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, no, no, lamina cribrosa, it's an orbital surface uh, of the Atmoid bone, because lamina cribrosa it's in the up. I now find picture here. It's a, a lamina cribrosa present in the uh, anterior cranial fossa here, and uh, near this structure uh, in the etmoid bone present Krista Galle, Pivnichi Hredin in Ukraine. Yes, and uh, cribriform plate. Uh, Lamina cribrosa, cribriform plate um, in the up region of the etmoid bone. Uh, here, this one. Uh, perpendicular plate of the etmoid bone uh, connecting and uh, stay in the nasal cavity and delayed nasal cavity to right and left part. So, uh, in a Orbita, uh, present uh, medial wall, uh, next lateral wall, uh, uh, superior and inferior. Uh, first of all, um, not correct speak about medial wall uh, and speak about here it's a uh, sphenoid bone. It's an orbital surface 
of the ala minor of sphenoid bone. Orbital plate of etmoid bone, orbital surface, orbital plate at, at, of the etmoid bone. Next, uh, orbital surface, lacrimal bone, because present uh, nasal surface uh, in this is bone and other. Next, uh, you can look to uh, floor of orbit, uh, orbital process of palatine bone, but uh, correct uh, speaking about orbital surface of uh, orbital process of palatine bone. Next, uh, here you, you understand it's a orbital surface uh, of maxilla. And uh, in the Finnish orbital surface of uh, zygomatic bone. Not all zygomatic bone uh, um, stay in a floor of orbit. Okay. Next, uh, lateral wall. Lateral wall, you understand it's a part. Uh, what is the process of the frontal bone here? Zygomatic? Uh, yeah, great. Zygomatic process, but not all process. Uh, it's a lateral wall, yes. Orbital surface, uh, zygomatic process of the frontal bone. It's a very good. Uh, next variant, it's a, a greater wing of sphenoid bone. It's correct name. This is surface. Yes. It looks like yes. Yeah, no. Fir two, uh, first world uh, about uh, when you subscribe all uh, walls uh, and all structure in orbita. It's uh, orbital surface. Here in this picture, in a one uh, uh, variant only present correct uh, name, orbital surface of maxilla. And uh, here, orbital surface, uh, greater wing, yes, of sphenoid bone. It's uh, really true. It's correct name. Please remember this is moment two. And orbital surface here, too correct, yes? Orbital surface of zygomatic bone. In the orbital surface uh, of uh, zygomatic bone, what opening present in this is, uh, surface of foramen? Zygomatico orbital. Zygomatica facial in the lateral and zygomatica temporal in the temporal uh, surface. Okay, and uh, it's uh, was uh, walls uh, or uh, some surface in the orbit, yes. Uh, orbita in the um, geometrical. Uh, projection. What is the structure orbiter? Same with pyramid, yes? Pyramid and uh, this is pyramid with four holes, okay? And in orbiter present uh, eye uh, and uh, very interesting structure in orbit, it's a trochlea, trochlea it's a special uh, structure for connecting a uh, superior oblique muscle in a uh, eyes uh, muscle uh, and in a nasal cavity nasal cavity nasal cavity uh, with nasal sept you understand nasal sept it's a part of the uh, different process uh, perpendicular uh, process of etmoid bone connecting with uh, vomer and uh, with spina, uh, spina, uh, nasal spine of maxil too, and uh, with uh, inferior concha uh, present too. And uh, nasal uh, sept, it's Nasal sept uh, delayed in the right and left 
part of the nasal cavity and perpendicular plate of that admoid bone connected with vomer here, yes, and the next vomer connected with uh, spinous process of the maxilla. Uh, when we looked in inferior uh, surface of the skull, what name this is structure, please? This is structure, its name Hoana. Hoana finish uh, in a uh, opening uh, in um, nasal cavity and connecting with uh, nasal pharynx. And um, uh, cavum nasi or nasal uh, cavity, uh, very interesting structure in a uh, skull and uh, very good if you understand uh, nasal sept, it's a not only uh, bony parts, it's a cartilage part, a big cartilage part uh, in the nasal sept present too. So, uh, and uh, nasal cavity connecting with all uh, sinuses uh, during uh, or after uh, some a very small uh, canal connected with frontal sinus, uh, sphenoid sinus, maxillary sinus, and etmoid sinus. It's very important too. So, uh, in a skull, uh, present uh, different um, surface, yes. First of all, it's a, a surface internal or cerebrum, cerebral uh, surface and uh, in this is uh, cerebral surface we can look at different bones, frontal bone, acmoid bone, sphenoid bone, temporal bone and occipital bone. Uh, all opening in um, this is bones uh, very important for uh, moving of the uh, vessels and nerves. Uh, and in skull, uh, in this is, uh, surface present uh, anterior cranial fossa here, medial cranial fossa, and posterior cranial fossa. Uh, cranial or cerebral, uh, because cerebrum is a brain, yes? And uh, when we uh, looked in a uh, lateral surface, we can look in a temporal fossa. Temporal fossa, uh, its structure, present where, uh, present arcus uh, zygomatic arch, arch uh, arcus zygomaticus. Next, move into the uh, linea temporalis superior and connect with this frontal bone process, uh, zygomatic process of uh, frontal bone next uh, temporal frontal uh, process of zygomatic uh, bone next moving this is line to the uh, temporal process of zygomatic bone connecting with zygomatic process of temporal bone and here uh, it's part of temporal fossa uh, in this is also located uh, big muscle, masticatory muscle, it's uh, temporal muscle. Uh, next, uh, it's an infratemporal, infratemporal uh, fossa. Uh, it's fossa uh, present uh, after a, a zygomatic arch. Uh, in the region where are present uh, tuber maxilla, first uh, uh, anterior wall in this is, uh, cavity, and here uh, present some structure with uh, big portion nerves, uh, uh, ganglion, and other. And uh, pterygopalatin uh, fossa, pterygopalatin fossa, uh, for subterigo palatinum here, yes, uh, it's three fossa in a skull, uh, temporal fossa, infratemporal fossa, and pterigo palatin uh, between 
Pterigo palatin fossa here. Uh, between maxilla and uh, pterygoid process uh, of the sphenoid bone. Here, name sphenoid ventricle. Here, mastoid near uh, mastoid process of the temporal bone. Posterior or occipital and anterior or frontal. It's uh, four ventricles in a skull. Other variant were uh, important, and we replace this information. Yes, up and lower uh, uh, teeth. Yes, uh, child two five years old. It's um, twenty teeth uh, in the oral cavity. Yes, and adult uh, 21, 25 years old and uh, during all uh, life to the uh, gerontology age, yes, it's uh, uh, present 32 uh, teeth, uh, permanent or adult teeth. Uh, and uh, deciduous or milk teeth, uh, it's uh, only in a child. Uh, and formal of the child teeth, it's a two, one, O, oh, and three. Uh, two, one, O, oh, two. Yes, uh, it's a five teeth uh, in the uh, right and five teeth in the left and five in the up and uh, lower a region in the right and left, totally trained. And uh, very important in the uh, old person, uh, this structure in the oral cavity may absent and uh, it's may uh, some crash uh, and uh, changing, yes, mandible uh, and muscle too. Uh, and uh, very important to understand its variant when uh, may present some variants and anomaly. Variants and anomalies, uh, for example, in the size of the uh, steloid process of the temporal bone, uh, it may present very long size uh, when will present crush or uh, touch or uh, some disorders when this is a process may crash. It's uh, near this is region where present this is process uh, stay big version vessels and nerves. It's very dangerous too. As a uh, very important moment, uh, location uh, masticatory muscle, uh, you can look to where present temporal muscle in the temporal fossa. Uh, in the infratemporal fossa, uh, Stay big person masseter uh, muscle uh, muscle for chewing. Uh, it's uh, masseter muscle, temporal muscle, and uh, pterygoid uh, lateral and medial muscle. <clears throat> it's a four muscle for chewing. And uh, next variant, it's a uh, connecting to the hyoid bone, uh, uh, suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscle uh, connecting to uh, hyoid bone. And uh, really, um, um, in a skull, uh, skull, it's a part of the uh, our uh, skeletal uh, system. Skeleton uh, system consists of with uh, two big parts. It's a uh, axillar skeleton and uh, appendicular skeleton. Axillar skeletal with uh, structure bones of the skull, cranial, uh, narrow cranium eight and uh, visceral cranium or face. It's a fourteen, but. Uh, bones associated with skull, it's a, a hyoid and auditory ossicle. Uh, next part of axial skeleton, it's a vertebral column, 26 bone. Who can speak uh, and 
pronounce uh, of the uh, vertebral column, column uh, bones. How many uh, cervical uh, vertebrae? Seven. Seven, yes. Twelve uh, thoracic, five lumbar. Totally uh, seven, tw twelve, and five. How much? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. And one sacral and one coccyx. Totally twenty-six. And uh, thorax, uh, it's a uh, 24 ribs and one sternum, yes. Totally uh, axial skeleton, it's uh, number 80. And this is number you uh, not should, no, you must understand how, what is bones uh, include. It's, this is uh, 40, uh, 80 uh, bones. And uh, appendicular skeleton, it's the next part, it's a 126, and it's a bones of upper and lower limbs. Uh, okay, uh, who can speak about name of uh, first uh, ribs in Latin language? First ribs, who remember? In Latin language, first ribs. Yeah, first trip. Yes. What is name first trip in the Latin language? Prima. Yes. Uh, second. Secunda. Just a second. Yes. Uh, very popular uh, phrases, but uh, just a second. Really, it's not one second. Uh, in a not one. Yes, it's a two second. Just a one second, it's a, a untypical for understanding, for example, when connecting English language and Latin. Okay, uh, great. Uh, and uh, in a, if we speak about skull, in the Finnish, uh, it's a norm of the skull, yes? Uh, what name this is a uh, norm? Anterior. Yeah, next here, lateral, inferior, posterior, and superior. Uh, and in this is different norm, we can look for uh, example in a different uh, bone.